Hi everybody, welcome back to my blog series on sabotage. Today is all about the kids and how they sabotage us or do we let them sabotage our goals in life. Actually, let's turn this around so I can show you how kids can actually help us with our goals. So I've heard of five reasons or excuses when it comes to kids um, as to why some people think they can't go forward with their health goals. Um, there could be more, but these are the ones that I hear the most. So number one, my kids won't be on board. So as their parents, it's our job to guide them into making appropriate choices in life. This also includes food and their health. We're role models for our children and whatever we do and say, they're going to do it and say it too. When we show them appropriate things such as good health, they're going to follow us. Remember though that they are kids. It probably won't happen the first day, but it will happen. So tip number one, be a role model. Excuse or reason number two, kids should eat whatever they want. Well, yes and no. For example, I'm gonna share with you just my story because I have always been terrified as a parent. I never, want, I never wanted my child to be overweight and obese as I once was. So I set my daughter up at a very early age with nutritious foods, and that's, I started her ever since she could eat solid foods. Um, and because of that, I know that I can have candy lying around the house, um, and it's not going to be detrimental to her health because I gave boundaries. Now, when I was in comparison, when I was younger, there was candy around the house, I'm gonna eat it, and I'm gonna eat it all. If there's a whole thing of Oreo cookies and nobody knows they're there, I'm gonna eat every single one of them in one sitting. I don't have to worry about that with my daughter. It's total opposite. I never let her have candy or cookies or any of that until she was about five or six, besides her birthday cake. And when she was old enough to eat the pasta and the rice and the breads, I started her off with whole wheat and brown rice and she loved every minute of it. That is the first taste she had in her mouth. I even introduced her to quinoa and now it's one of her favorite foods, even at eight years old. Does she like her fast food hamburgers and fries? Oh, definitely. Does she love ice cream? She'd rather have it every single day, I get it. But I'd limit her and that's the secret. She knows the guidelines so when she wants candy, she asks me and I tell her how many pieces she can have. It's when we allow our kids junk early on or we don't set guidelines for it that it gets out of control. It's also important to have your child involved with outside activity or sports. This way they can see how important it is to be healthy and eat healthy. Another quick story, my daughter recently tried out for competition gymnastics. One of the rules was to eat healthy. She started reading ingredients. She took an old phone of mine and downloaded a health app. She started tracking her food. Now I made sure she wasn't obsessive about it because I know that as a child, she needs different guidelines than what I would need. I would never tell her to eat less or more than what I need because my needs are different than hers. But I did get guidelines as to how much an eight-year-old, how much protein, how many carbs and such she should eat. But I also upped those carbs because of the fact that she's very involved with gymnastics. If your child is older and you're thinking, well, this isn't going to apply to me because it's too late, it's don't worry. You just have to begin by communicating your goal to your children. Your children love you and they care for you and they want what's best for you. Have them help you out. Get them involved in cooking or meal planning for the week. Start new guidelines in which everyone at the dinner table must have at least one serving of a vegetable. Be patient because it will work. Number three, excuse or reason, kids need to live. And you're right, they do. But what better way to extend their life than to have them eat healthy, whole foods? Processed foods will only shorten their lifespan, and that's because of the damaging additives and chemicals. Excuse and reason number four, it's too much work. Think about number two again. What did I say for the number two excuse and reason? Kids should eat whatever they want. Remember my example about my daughter guiding her? Okay, remember that. Have them help you out. Read, num or not read. <laughs> remember number three again, kids need to live. You're right, but we're extending their life. Instead of shortening it, we're extending it. 
And the last reason or excuse I hear a lot is my kids won't eat it. How do you know? Did you try? Did you know it takes children at least three times to try something before they can decide whether they like it or not? I've taught preschool and I have a child development background and I'll tell you what, it takes a lot of repetition for it to become a habit for children. I always teach my daughter to have a no thank you bite. And this means they must take a bite of something new. They must, she must chew it and swallow it before saying no thank you to the rest. I then serve that same food two more times on different days before I see if, if she really likes it or not. I hope these tips have helped you out and remember where there's a will, there's a way. If you want it bad enough, you're going to make it happen. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you next time. Bye.